A few months ago, I prematurely said the XFL was in the sports graveyard with the USFL, the World Football League, and other sports leagues. That's not the case. The Rock, yes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has brought back the XFL. He bought the remaining assets of the XFL earlier this week with his ex-wife, who is his business partner, Danny Garcia, and Cardinal Capital, which was one of the venture capital industries that uh, The Rock and uh, Danny Garcia are, were, in, were and are involved in. This is massive. Once again, The Rock saves Vince McMahon. Uh, whether it's on WWE television via WrestleMania or an appearance on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, the ratings are always big. The social media aspect of The Rock, whenever he is on is always massive. He's the biggest movie star on the planet, okay? Just like Taylor Swift is the biggest pop star on the planet. It's not to be debated. It's not Katy Perry. It's not Billie Eilish. It's it's Taylor Swift. She has nine, nine Billboard Hot 100 Top 40 hits this week alone, one of which, Cardigan, is at number one. So do not tell me that Taylor Swift is not the biggest star on the planet in the popular music realm. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson is the biggest movie star and the biggest box office draw right now in all of the planet. He is recognizable everywhere he goes. The possibilities, oh, the possibilities of the XFL. We thought the XFL was gone in the spring and was a victim of the pandemic and was never coming back for the second time in 20 years. No XFL, not the case. I think come 2021 or 2022, the XFL comes back, and comes back stronger than ever. All right, I will talk to you on Friday, Friday Night Football. See ya!